hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly we have x plus 1 to the power of 4 equal to 4 to the power of 4 now what if I break the power here into 2 so that I will have x plus 1 to the power of 2 then to the power of 2 because every time you have you know two powers like this they can always multiply so that we'll have 4 right then 4 here 4 to the power of 4 here becomes 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 so that if I take everything to the left, then we have x plus 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And this will be equal to 4. Okay, we are bringing everything to the left. So this becomes negative 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 being equal to 0. Now, what do I do? I can now apply zero pro um, difference of two squares rather and then if you have a squared minus b squared this is equal to a plus b into a minus b and as it is now our a is x plus 1 to the power of 2 and then our b is equal to 4 to the power of 2 right so let's continue with this so that in place of a plus b i will be writing x plus 1 to the power of 2 then we have plus our b is 4 squared right so here i will write 4 squared then I close this. Then in the second bracket, it's going to be negative. So I will have x plus, plus 1 to the power of 2. This place that we have positive will be having negative. Then we have 4 to the power of 2. Then we can close this and equate to 0. From here, we have x plus 1 to the power of 2, then plus 16. How did I get the 16? That is from 4 squared, right? Then in the second bracket, I have x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus, okay, I don't want to change this. I will say right 4 squared. This is because I want to apply difference of two squares to this and then I equate this to 0 now if I expand this what would I have I will be having um, x squared plus 2x plus 1 that is the expansion of x plus 1 squared then plus 16 close that and then I told you that I was going to apply difference of two squares here. Okay. So that if I do that, I will be having in here, I have x plus 1 plus, plus um, 4. Okay. Then in the other bracket, I'll be having x plus 1 then minus 4 so we close this and equate to 0 now I'm going to deal with this we have x squared plus 2x then plus 17 this is what we have in the first bracket then in this in this we'll be having um, x plus 5 because of um because we have um how do i call it 
we need to open the bracket and one can can be added to four to give us five then here we're going to have x then four um, one my one minus four will give us minus three so we close this and equate to zero okay so this is what we have mind you we have to multiply this and this okay this and this are to be multiplied because i applied um difference of two squares now i have x squared plus 2x plus 17 then i will multiply this so that i will be having x times x that'll be x squared then x times minus 3 is minus 3x then minus 5 times x that would be plus 5x and then 5 times minus 3 is minus 15 then i equate to 0 so that x squared plus 2x plus 17 is the first factor and then the second factor we have x squared um, plus 2x minus 3x plus 2x will give us some um, minus 3x plus 5x will give us plus 2x then we have minus 15 close this and equates to 0 so now we have two terms to multiply to get 0 so we apply 0 product rule so we'll say either x squared plus 2x is equal to, okay that's 17 plus 17 is equal to 0 let me write it better we have x squared plus 2x plus 17 equals 0 or i go over to this and i will pick it right but before then let's deal with this let's apply formula our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 multiplied by a okay so let's continue from the equation that we got before our a is 1 our b is 2 and c is 17 so let's put this into the into the formula so that our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus then we have 2 squared minus 4 times a times c and our c is 17 so the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 and now our x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus of um, square root of 4 minus 4 times 7 is 28 then 4 times 1 is 4 times 2 that will be 6 so we have 68 and this will be over 2 so that if we continue our x will be minus 2 plus or minus then we have square root of negative 64 and this will be over 2 now negative 64 is a perfect square but because of this negative we are going to have an imaginary um imaginary number or imaginary solution as you would call it so that our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus then here now square root of 64 is 8 because of this negative will have 8i so divide this by 2 2 can go there and the same 2 can go here so we have x to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus 4i by the way this means that our x is equal to minus 1 plus 4i or minus 1 minus 4i so from here we have two solutions to the equation but trust me these are complex solution now we need to get the other equation and deal with it just like we dealt with this okay so look at it over there from here we're going to get other two solutions to the problem and this equation can 
be factorized okay two numbers we multiply to get minus 15 we add them to get two so the two numbers will be five and minus three okay so if that is the case that means the factors will be x plus five and x minus three and then this is equal to zero okay meaning that x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 so x will be equal to negative 5 or x is equal to positive 3 so from here we have two more solutions now let's bring the four solutions together so we have x1 i will call what we have here my x1 and 2 so x1 is equal to negative 5 then x2 is equal to 3 then x3 is from what we got before which is minus 1 plus 4i and i'll write minus 1 okay this is minus 1 then i have plus 4i then our x4 is from there as well and it is minus 1 minus 4i so these are the four solutions let me place it well so these are the four solutions to the equation thank you for watching